Hello, welcome to Math Guide Mvula DK Tutorials. In this video, we want to look at how we can solve examination type of questions coming from the GCE Paper 2 of 2020. So particularly, we shall look at question 1, then 2, 3 and more in some other videos. So looking at the first part of question 1, Given the matrix A, which has elements 7, 4P, 9, 5P. In number 1, we want to find the value of P for which the determinant of A is negative 2. So how can we find the value of P when the determinant has been provided? So it, it's very simple. Actually, what you do is you are supposed to use the concept of finding the determinant of a matrix. Actually, it's a two by two matrix. So for our solution, here is what we need to do. So we shall use the concept, as earlier mentioned, the concept of finding the determinant. So how do you get the determinant of a matrix? You simply need to multiply the major diagonal elements and then you subtract the product of the minor diagonal. So the major diagonal we have 7 times 5p that will give us 35p then we subtract the product of the minor diagonal in this case we have 9 times 4p we are going to get 36 P, of which should be equated to negative 2 because we have been told to say the determinant of A is negative 2. And when we look at what we have here, 35P and negative 36P are like terms. So we can simplify and this will give us negative P equal to negative 2. Okay, but we are not solving for the value of negative p. As indicated in the question, we need to get the value of p, which should be positive. So we need to get rid of the negative, And we can do so by simply multiplying everything by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative p, we are going to get positive p, which shall be equal to, again, negative 1 times negative 2. We are going to get positive 2. So this is the solution for question 1. Question 1, 1A1. One, okay, now that we have answered the first part of question 1, we can look at part 2. And question 2 is saying, hence, find the inverse of A. So how can we get the inverse of the matrix A, which is denoted as indicated in the brackets. So first of all, we need to know that because we have the value of P, which is equal to 2, our matrix A will be equal to, with the elements 7, 8, 9, and 10. Why should we have 8 and 10 here? Because we can now substitute for the value of P. So it will be 4 times 2, we get 8, and 5 times 2, we get 10. Okay, so we can now move on. A inverse is given by this formula 1 over the determinant of A times the adjoint, the adjoint of the matrix A. This is the formula that we use to get the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, so we can simply replace for the values of the determinant and the adjoint in the formula that we have, and that will be our inverse of A. So we shall say A inverse will be equal to 1 over determinant of A. We have, it is negative 2, so we put negative 2 times the adjoint A is gotten by interchanging the elements in the major diagonal 
So when we do that, we are going to have 10 here, then 7 will come down here. And for the elements in the minor diagonal, we simply change the signs. So if we add the positives, it will change to negatives. If it was negatives, it will change to positives. So we are going to have negative 9 and negative 8. That is the adjoint of the matrix A. So meaning our A inverse will be equal to negative 1 over 2 as a scalar which is multiplying the elements in the adjoint of A. Seven here. So we can end here. If we want, we can also multiply the scalar with every element which is inside. The solution will still be the same. So that is for the second part of question 1a. Okay, so we now move our attention to part b of question 1. And reading through the question, it says, Mutola and Mwambi were to be selected as members of a netball team. The probability of selecting Mutola is 7 over 8, and that of selecting Mwambi is 9 over 10. Find the probability that only one of them is selected. So first of all, we need to understand what this means. How do we find the probability that only one of them is to be selected? So we have two people. Only one should be selected in this netball team. And if one of them is selected, the other one is not to be selected. So in a case where Mutola is selected, then Mwambi should not be selected. Or in a case where Mwambi is selected, then Mutola should not be selected. So here is what we need to do. Probability that only one should be selected is equal to probability of selecting Mutola times probability of not selecting Mwambi plus probability of selecting Mwambi times probability of not selecting Mwambi. So of not selecting Mutola. So for selecting Mutola, we have been given it is 7 over 8. So we can simply substitute 7 over 8 times probability of not selecting Mwambi. So we get what we have been given for Mwambi. And then we subtract from 1 because the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. And when we do that, we should be getting 1 over 10. Then plus probability of selecting Mwambi, we have been given, it is 9 over 10 times probability of not selecting Mutola will be 1 over 8. Also, when we select, sorry, when we subtract 7 over 8 from 1. So we can now simplify. This will give us 7 over 8 plus 9 over 80. Okay. And because we have the denominator which is equal, then we can simply add the numerators and this will simplify to 16 over 80, which is the same as 1 over 5 as a simple fraction. So that is for the first part, which is B1. This is for B1. Then we can quickly look at 2. In the question here, we should find the probability that none of them is selected. So it, it is neither Mutola nor Mwambi to be selected. How do we get that probability? So that is very simple. Probability of, of none of them selected will be equal to probability of not selecting Mutola plus probability of not selecting Mwambi. So this we already know it is 1 over 10 plus 1 over 8, which will simplify to 9 over 10 
as a proper fraction or 0 0.225 as a mixed fraction. You can confirm that with your calculators. So we have answered the all of question one. And like I said, if you've not yet subscribed, you can subscribe to our channel and leave us with a comment for more videos. Thank you.